Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Rainy day outside. How about we uh, get a hold of some activities for your kids? You can do inside a little bit, then get ready to play outside. Kalina Bonnell is joining us from New Horizon Academy. Great to see you again. You too. Great to be here. All right. Now, first and foremost, let's explain to everybody uh, about New Horizon Academy, uh, what you do and where you're located. Yeah, so we have a lot of great locations around the metro downtown off Southwest 9th in West Des Moines off University and Johnson. Off Northwest 62nd. Two locations in Pella, our newest location in Urbandale, 128th and Meredith area. Um, and then we'll be opening this fall two new centers. Oh, so, really? Um, this set in the fall with ITA Group, a corporate partnership right. at their new building um, with some limited space for the public. And then um, beginning of 2025, we'll be in North Ankeny. Oh my goodness, yeah, that is so exciting. Yeah, we're super excited. That is really cool. So we're we're talking about educating your kids and getting your kids ready for the process of learning. And you have a side kids program that is amazing. Yeah, so we um, obviously love learning. We um, care and educate for children six weeks through five years old, getting ready to go off to kindergarten. Um, and we know how much being outdoors benefits them. So obviously when you think about outdoor play, you think a lot about that physical and gross motor activity, but it also enhances cognitive development. It allows them to kind of decompress, burn off some stress. Burn um, so off it, some energy. Yeah, burn <laughs> off some energy. Um, and then obviously when they're outside and they have the ability to play with other kids, strengthening those social skills, um, and then just kind of instills um, a healthy lifestyle. So understanding that it's healthy to be outside and good for you. Okay. Um, so all of these things are things that we've taken directly from our classroom. So if you're at our center, your child is most likely participating in these activities, not only in the summer, but year round. Okay. Um, so what are we going to start with? Yeah, what so are we, our first what thing are we is to play with? setting something up outside um, that your kids can play with, and this can kind of be intentional on your part. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kinetic sand. You can use any sand. Um, great fine motor skills come from using your pincher grass to kind of grip the sand. You can build with it. This is cool um, stuff. Scoop. Yeah, it's really fun. Kids love this. Um, you can use something small like this. This was just bought at Target. Um, you could get a little tote, switch it up. Maybe your kids are really into bugs. You could put some fake bugs in here. I'm going to make a turtle. Okay. Lou's going to make a turtle. There's a turtle. Um, you can talk about animals, color recognition. You could hide things in this sand oh. and have them hunt for that. The turtle's head fell off. Okay, okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, <laughs> but, but, but it is really is a hands-on. Yeah, very yeah. hands-on. Um, you could go to a local lake take some buckets, some shovels, um, really just great sensory exploration. Okay. Um, and if you're if you're doing that too, uh, you have the mud around there, you could you probably track animals Yeah, too, yeah, then, right? so you can track animals. We have a great resource on our website, an animal tracker, where you can look um, at oh, identify. Yeah, so you can look at some different paw prints and then maybe you don't know, but this resource could help you um, talk through those with your children. So a raccoon, a dog, mm -hmm. things that might not be in your yard, <laughs> but um, could be more so. Like a goose. Yeah, yeah out on a trail know, or something a, like a that. A coyote even. Okay. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, and then we also have a, another great resource for bird watching. All right, here's some birds. Yeah, so okay. we. Um, Look at the birds. Can you identify a, the birds? A hands-on activity. You can build some binoculars at home prior to going bird watching. So okay. these are just two toilet paper rolls. Okay. Um, we. Uh, pre-assembled one so you just get some fun tape scotch tape whatever you have tape those two rolls together you'll punch two holes in the sides okay and then your kids can hold them up or you can attach a string so they can wear them around their neck as well um, and then we just got some fun stickers obviously we're going bird watching so mm -hmm. we should probably have some bird stickers okay pick a couple stickers um, on here I'm gonna go with the flamingo okay. I I don't know if you would see any of those out in the wild you have, to go, to, you have to go to the blank park but zoo yeah, to see you those could go to the zoo. So when you go to the zoo, then you take your little binoculars yeah. up a little higher, a little higher. I see you. How about that? We can we do some bird watching. Yeah, here. Cool. they could color these with markers. Um, and we do have a resource on our website where you can um, 
kind of identify those birds. There's a great journal on there, so you can draw a picture of what you're seeing. Maybe you can count, oh, I see eight robins, right. something like that. So a lot of good number and math um, things that can happen and too. And for more information about everything we talked about and a whole lot more, uh, yeah. where can they go on the New website? NewHorizonAcademy.net, and okay. that is under our blog tab. Okay. A lot of great resources, you can just search for those. And then we brought Lou's favorite. He loves bubbles. It's um, bubble one time. So Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.